In this video, I'm going to share three free ways to remove the background from your images with some very easy to use tools. So the first tool I wanted to share with you is dgb.lol. They've got a variety of different AI tools. As you can see from the homepage, they've got an upscaler as well as a vectorizer. And if we click on tools on the left-hand side over here, then you get the overview of all of them. And we want to click on the background remover right here with the Mona Lisa. And you can actually drag and drop up to 20 files into this at the same time, which is really cool. So if you do that, you'll get a quick preview of them all together. And then you can click submit which will then add these files to a queue system. So you are going to have to wait a little while here for the background to be removed. But the good thing is you can, you know, do it with multiple files at the same time and the results are pretty decent. So there we go. It's been added to the queue. You can find it over here in the My Files section. It will give you an estimate for the time that's going to take. And you can just check back on this page in a little while. It depends on how busy this page is, this website, right? Sometimes it might take five minutes, sometimes 10 minutes, 20 minutes. You can also hit the refresh button right here to see if there's been any updates, but you can just come back to this page after a little while. Once all of your files have been processed, as you can see, there is two ways to download them you've got the green download button and the alternative one I'll show you the comparison in a minute here but you can also click bulk download at the top to just go through the entire list of completed jobs so here's one example of a Fox this is the normal green button as you can see it's quite a sharp edge a sharp result whereas the alternative one which you can see right here has more of a foggy blurry sort of edge around the ears as well this is a bit more blurry I'll go back again to the other one this is normal this is alternative and another example would be this scooter graphic here it took out a little bit too much in the clouds as you can see so it's not perfect none of these like automatic background removers are perfect unfortunately this is the alternative version which does have sort of you know changes in the opacity which is something I wouldn't recommend so in most cases just go for the normal green button so the second tool I'd recommend to you is Pixel Cut. I've mentioned them before for their image upscaler, but they do also have a background remover, which you can find in the tools drop down up here. So once you click on this, a new window will open up. You can just easily drag and drop an image into this. You can only do one at a time, which is a bit of a downside with DGB. You can, you know, do 20 for free at once. But this new editor opens up, which also has some cool features. And essentially what we can do is we can refine the background removal right here with this button if you click on refine we get this window where you can zoom in a little bit and then use these brush settings on the left hand side to either increase or decrease the size of your brush as you can see right here and then to either erase parts of the design or restore parts of the design let's say you wanted this chest to be back then just paint that in like so and as you might be able to see some of the white color is coming back that the background remover actually erased right here so um, you'd have to zoom in a bit and you know refine it more properly it's a bit hard to do this and actually move around look now I just drew something there that I didn't want to but essentially this gives you the option to refine the result which is really handy because a lot of background remover tools don't really give you that option so let's draw this in here there we go and if you wanted to erase stuff like let's say some of these you know stripes at the bottom if you don't want them just take them out with the erase function at the top really really cool once you're done just hit done in the top right corner and then you can also download the finished version with the download hd button in the top right so that's definitely a cool tool this little upgrade pop-up comes up but you don't need to do this you can just click out of it and uh, carry on using this by just going a step back and starting from scratch and lastly my favorite free method for removing the backgrounds of your AI images is definitely clip drop because it is super accurate and is very easy to use as well so the website in general looks amazing they've got a lot of other features you can see a preview of what each of these tools does right here if you hover over them uh, I also made a separate video about this relight feature which is super fun but in this one we're going to use the background remover so click on this and then it does say drag up to you know 10 files into this but that is for the paid plan free users can only do it one image at a time unfortunately so drag and drop your image into this i'm going to use this owl graphic which is a bit more complicated to remove the background from hit remove background and then very quickly is going to swipe across this analyze the image and there we go super super good job because in many cases the moon would have maybe been removed because it's you know close to white and a lot of these 
tree sort of branches um, around would have been messed up most likely but if you click show or hide changes in the top right corner you can see the before and after and clip drop actually did a very great job considering this graphic is so difficult once you're done you can hit download in the top right corner or you can go back a step to start from scratch with a new graphic if you've got a lot of images to go through that you need to remove the background from then you might want to consider using a bulk background remover which i show you in this video right here the results are amazing and it's super easy to use 